Okay, welcome to ETN News. We're looking at the earthquakes. Not much going on in Hawaii except for these earthquakes. A lot of these are getting closer to the surface around Pahala and northwest east from there. Okay, then let's see here what we got. Alaska. We only have three quakes. One is a 3.7, 40.4 miles deep. Three quakes are 2.5 and greater. These two here are smaller. Let's see what we have in the smaller activity. All right, let's go check these other ones out and see what we got going on here. 1.2 around Mount St. Helens. A few small ones in Yellowstone. Utah, 1.1, east southeast of Milford. Okay, not much going on down through here either. 2.3, north northwest of Edgefield, Louisiana, 3.1 miles deep. We've been having a lot of quakes, and, you know, they're deeper, but they're ac across the craton. And, you know, I've had a lot of comments about the craton. People tells people that the earthquakes go around the craton. No, it's just the rock is so thick that you don't feel the earthquakes and they're not reported if they're not felt. So we do have earthquakes in the craton. It's just the oldest rock in history. Okay, we got Canada, what they're reporting, and not much at all on Canada. Just a few down in here. Okay, now we're looking at the 2.5s and greater. And we had a 6.4 earlier this morning. And that is in Afghanistan, 128.4 miles deep. That is deep for a 6.4 on land. Okay, down through here, we don't got much going on. 300, I mean 4.8, but it's 311.3 miles deep. So we're looking for larger activity, maybe even a 7 plus. That's what it looks like it's building up to me. And I'm not sure where it's going to hit yet. We may have, may have the earthquake down here in this region or something right in here. Or we got Alaska is vulnerable for an earthquake right now. If it does hit down here, I'd still be looking for another one to hit up at Alaska behind that one. And this earthquake down here, this is South Pacific Ocean. You see, it's not on the main fault. This is out in the ocean. 5.2, 6.2 miles deep. That shows something's changing. Well, we got the North America going into Pacific Plate. We got Alaska up here. You know, so, you know, it's it's adding up to where it's putting pressure on Alaska. So if, if the 7 plus, if we do get a 7 plus or upper 6, it could be an upper 6 down in here. You know, then next I would be looking for a quake in Alaska. So, Alaska, you know, it could either be hit now or it could be hit in a little bit or it may move on. But still, just be prepared up in here just in case. Southern Alaska. Now, let's go look at something else. North American Craton. This is what people talk about when they talk about the Craton. It goes all the way up into Greenland. It's a big chunk of rock, and it's the oldest rock that hasn't had any significant activity in millions of years. Well, this is over 3 million square miles of rock. Now, you can see right down through here. Now, let me ask you something. What would happen if you get earthquakes up under here? You would not hardly feel them. They would not be reported. They're under the craton. 
just because it's the oldest rock don't mean that you know it's it's you don't get earthquakes we're starting to see the earthquakes well why would you start to see the earthquakes if the craton cracks if this thing cracks it will be a, a you know north america you know it would level all the mountains everything if it cracks because it would be like worse than an atomic bomb i mean it would if the craton cracked and the craton is 155.343 miles deep thick now you can imagine a rock that thick what would happen if a rock that thick cracked well what's the navy map showing it's showing this separating well it can't separate without cracking the earth is ramping up for destruction north america for sure you know the way everything's going i'm over here in west virginia i'm still on the craton all these mountains would come down over here in my area and it would be one of the biggest quakes ever recorded on earth it would you know it would shoot past anything at i think that they could come up with that's a big craton now this is what they're talking about about the craton don't let it fool you because earthquakes go around the craton if it's thick and it's under a thick rock that deep there's no feeling it well if we're starting to feel it in Ohio, up in New York, all these places and you know the look up the Navy map and it'll show you more about the continents separating continents can't separate without this cracking this right here would be a world uh, uh, you, you know North America would be destroyed in many places there wouldn't be much surviving so you know you gotta look at this don't pay attention to where people say that earthquakes go around the craton this is the most dangerous thing they could ever be in North America is the craton it's been stable for the past 600 million years well with the Sun being destroyed the solar flares solar storms they evaporate the moisture from the earth and then when it does that this dries out it's more vulnerable to crack so I'm just trying to explain things here of how this would work you know it has to it's common sense it, you gotta look at what I'm talking about here this is very dangerous and you got to watch what you know thinking you're safe because you're on the craton because people says earthquakes go around them you gotta watch about things you gotta look at the facts you gotta study you gotta look into it you know don't move to the craton just cause you think you're safer at the craton you know right here is this formed craton this is all this form going through here and then you got the magma flow coming down through here look where the magma flow shows it's coming through this is the ring of fire come part of the ring of fire you know coming through here and that's the reason it's like that okay I hope that that explained a lot and you know it's it is very dangerous it's not nothing to you know to go thinking that earthquakes go around it and you are safer into craton no it's not like that when this thing cracks it has to crack for this land to separate for the continents to separate when it cracks you know what would happen I mean it's that deep 155.343 miles deep and over 300 million square miles and that's the deepest part that's the thickest part now it gets thin up here in Canada it gets thin to where it can be seen you know toward the surface all right this is the fire map and this is the anomaly that's moving across it's going right up through here and over in California 
coming across the map. You can watch that move if you're new here. You can watch it move around. Like right here, we're back up to yesterday. Let's see where it was at yesterday. It's back here yesterday. Okay, today, it's thicker, and it's moving over toward this way, toward the east. Which I can go back and review and show you it, it moves across the map from all the way across. You can watch it move. The anomalies. Hawaii, we got a house fire down there. I think that's what's going on in Hawaii. I mean, I zoomed down and checked it out, and that's the only thing I could figure out. I have to take a quick look, make sure I didn't miss anything. And, you know, just think about that. The Kraton. It's, you know, people, people look at it as different views. Well, you get into facts, and you get to knowing what's really down there, and how it's really made, and how thick it is, how many million miles it is square wide if it cracks on your opinion you know just think think in your mind if it cracked even if it split up through here through the mississippi river or anywhere it if it cracks in half it's north america the mountains will come down i mean this will be huge 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 i'll see you on the next updates everybody stay safe and would we'll be watching.